Another question here, how to get back on the horse when it comes to LSAT prep? Let's say you've gotten busy, you've fallen off track, you're feeling discouraged. Great question. I do have a couple of recommendations for this, and these are adapted from Nir Ayal's book, Indistractable. He talks about three different ways to make yourself indistractable when it comes to anything, really, and I've adapted these for use for LSAT prep specifically. They are effort, price, and identity. Effort is making it as easy as possible to do whatever it is you want to do. So let's say your goal is, of course, studying for the LSAT. How do you make it as easy as possible? It might involve getting multiple LSAT books, leaving some books in your car, some books at work, some books at home, some books in your locker if you have a locker somewhere, so that there is never a place or time where you are without your LSAT books, making it as easy as possible to study. If you're commuting frequently or you're, or you're on the go frequently, you might want to use podcasts and YouTube videos, both of which I have plenty of. Again, I have the LSAT Unplugged YouTube channel and podcast, so you can listen and watch and study on the go wherever you are. Really, you can passively absorb some useful LSAT information, even if you're busy with other things. You also might want to take the guesswork out of LSAT studying by using my LSAT study plans. I've made it as simple as possible, breaking it down for you step-by-step, step, day by day, to know exactly what to do and what not to do every single day over the course of your prep. And I'll get more into those in a little bit, but that's the general idea, making it easy. So that minimizing the effort involved to study. Next is price. And this really involves incentives. You could set up an agreement with your significant other or a friend or a study partner where every day you don't do X number of hours of studying or X number of LSAT problems, you charge yourself. Maybe you want to commit $5 per day that you don't study enough to your favorite charity or to your accountability partner just to put some skin in the game to make it as easy as possible for you to stay accountable to yourself and to others as well. Then there's identity. Identity, who you are. How do you define yourself? Remember, you are a future lawyer. You are a lean, mean, LSAT destroying machine. This is your identity. You are not someone who has difficulty focusing. You're not someone who lacks motivation. You are on a mission to destroy this exam. Take that on as your identity and then act in accordance with who you are and who you want to be, which is, of course, an LSAT destroying machine, which means you will do whatever it takes to conquer this exam. I also have some motivation videos on my YouTube channel, a playlist of videos to help you get in the right mindset to conquer this exam. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.